I'm James Miles with THP. I'm here with Jason with Seymour. Uh, yeah, and we have the PTM putters. We this do. is the new one. This is new. So it's something that we've been working on for quite a while. Our, our strategy all along has been to make all of our products here in the U.S. And with our milled, milled line, we always have, and all of our assembly has always been done in the U.S. But for us to cast the heads and to finish the heads in the U.S., kind of bring the thing full circle was always our goal. So yeah. what we've been able to do is we've taken two of our best-selling putters, our original FGP and our mallet, FGP mallet, yeah. and we're actually now casting them in Los Angeles. And then we take the product down to our milling house and we completely mill the product, face all of the graphics, and most importantly, our RST, which gives it what we call the PTM or the precision tour milled look that we're okay. looking for. And obviously the, uh, the tolerances need to be really tight so that all of the technology that's built into the RST is perfect and, and, and straight with the face. And so what we've done is, Initially, we're going to come out with the PTM in a platinum line, which is a stainless 303, and as you can see, diamond cut face, and then our graphics on the sole. Um, the weight's about 340 grams, and uh, like I said, it's very similar to the original with a few few changes. Um, we've kind of gone back to the original with the heel toe weighting, a little more weight in the heel and the toe, and the same with the uh, mallet. And notice it's kind of got more of the dynamic curve on the bottom of it. Very good, very sole. good. That's exactly right. One of the things that Zach, who uses the product, really likes about the original FGP, and it's a little different than the one we've been selling, is the sole. The sole's a little flatter, um, it sits a little more square on the ground, depending on if you're upright or flat or standard, it, it sits very well. And, uh, and the other thing that Zach actually requested is, if you look at the RST on our original product, the lines are a little more narrow. Yeah. We wanted them a little bolder, a little thicker, so it's really, really precise. It's really, really tight with the shaft. So those are kind of the two major changes to this product versus the original. Well, it's a great product, and if you want more information, you can go to thehackersparadise.com. I'm James Miles for THP TV.